like this position. This is from a Carson game, uh, the start of the Steel tournament. If I just see this position and try to find a solution and I find something, that does not help a lot. I really did not understand what was happening. So it is different when we are solving a training exercise. You should, for that reason, make sure of the next two things. Number one, check for the material. What is the material balance here? So how do we do that? How do we check for the material? We make sure that we understand the differences. For example, what is the difference in the amount of pounds? Person has two, four, six pounds. And the other guy had two, four, six pounds. It, Oh, I forgot the name, but I think it was a German kid, really good player. Uh, well, anyway, six pounds, six pounds, two minor pieces, two minor pieces. That's equal. I don't even have to count. Oh, that is three. No, no. Equal, 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 two queens, two rooks, four rooks. Okay. That's it. Material is equal. Uh, if someone has an extra piece and the other guy has a rook, then I know, oh, he has an extra unit because two pieces versus a rook, okay. Things like that are the kind of things that we have to look when we are looking for the material, when we are trying to understand the material balance, okay? Look for the differences, make sure that you got it right. I ain't seen many people trying to solve problems, even masters, and they try to be really fast, especially if you have people around, so they, they go think hits. And then, oh, this is the solution. Oh, you nice. You sacrifice the rook to try to, to win the queen, but you were already a piece down or two pieces down or rook down. I don't know. Or he was promoting or he was giving you checkmate. Oh, didn't notice. Problem was wrong just because you tried to, to be fast, not because you tried to do it right. So always check for, for that. Also, when you are analyzing a position that you did not see ever before, try to understand what is happening there. Here, when we are training on tactics, on tactics, definitely you do not need to go deep, okay? Do not try to understand every single feature, just have a general understanding. Like here, what I will think, well, black has an extra pound on the queen side, white on the king side, uh, both sides have their pieces, in a nice position. Uh, I re it really caught my attention this night being able to come here right now. And white, well, yeah, I have some weakness on the king side, so I should be careful, right? As, as black, but that's it. I will not try to really understand in super deep way what is happening. This is not an strategic exercise. It's tactical one you want uh, for the way that we are going to train for the most part. Mm, okay. Next. Let's see next. Oh, next. Sorry. I know next. Next is do a quick scan of the position. This quick scan for any tactics. Usually you will see the position and if there is a port, for example, let's say he is white is white to play here. You look for those tactical ideas, forks, pings, pieces hanging. Oh, look, I have this knight here. That's a check. And it's a double threat. I think here it was black to play. But if you were white, you will look for that move. Important piece of advice here. When you find an idea in the scanning, in the scanning part, where you're looking for hanging pieces, forks, pins, all that stuff, and you find a move that seems to be winning on the spot, Take your time. Almost everyone will get emotional with that kind of move. So look really hard to see if it doesn't work. Try to prove yourself wrong. That is a great attitude to have in chess. Try to prove yourself wrong. Like, okay, no, it's not, a, it's not the same as not trusting yourself. It's just not, not trusting the position. So try to prove yourself wrong. Okay, I play rookie six. And you see it, I told you about this in my game yesterday. You see, sorry, 97, 97. Let's say you're white and you see 97 and you're thinking about this move in your head. And then you see the move and you look in that calculation if he has a counter, like I give check. I, I'm attacking the queen. He has no other threats right now that I can tell are that important. And it's a check. So he should take, right? So he takes, I take with the bishop. 
And I see this position in my head after two moves. And I just have to make sure, does he have something here? A double threat, a check, I no back brain check, uh, something. You do not see anything, then you can go ahead. Many times what happens, I am pretty sure all of you, because even to me happens, you see a nice idea and you just make it, the hand make it. You are not even thinking, oh, this is a fork. And then it happens and you realize, oh, oh, I didn't see what was coming next, I lost. So when you do the quick scanning, it's really important to make sure that you are not being biased for your emotions, by your emotions, okay? Okay, so you do the quick scanning. <laughs> most of the time, most of the time, nothing is gonna come from it. In the training, in the training. So what you do is that you make your list of candidate moves. So here we go into all the questions that you asked me about, how to calculate, what to do. This is the part about calculation. And this part mostly related with tactics, okay? We'll, we'll focus on that for the most part. So you should make the list of candidate moves. Now I told you, if you are a player that is not that strong calculating moves, you should write down those ideas. Yeah, for example, you could analyze that as, uh, so you just wrote something like rookie four, rookie four, 94. I think black is playing here and that will be a mistake, but we will go, I will tell, tell you about this in a second, okay? So you make the list of candidate moves. You make your list. You write it down in a piece of paper. Let's say that rookie four is one of your candidate moves. We will analyze that in a second. Uh, you pick, I don't know, other moves. Like we know, oh, he wants to give the fork. Maybe I can, I can play of six. Okay, but what candidate moves do I want to use? I am telling you, oh, let's make the list. Okay, yes, candidate moves, let's make the list. How do I make the, 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 the list? What do I do? I forgot to put my phone in airplane mode. Let me just put this in airplane mode so it doesn't distract me while I'm working with you guys. What is this? Perfect. Here, gone. Okay. So, how do we make the list? Well, we look for forcing moves. Now, let's cap this little talk about forcing moves. Forcing moves are moves that do not give the other side the freedom to do whatever he wants to do. So, this is an example. If black here plays check, white here plays check. I cannot do anything else. I cannot take on e4. I cannot move uh, any other piece that is not related with dealing with this check. That is the most forcing move that you can find, a check, okay? After that, we always have to be careful. There are other forcing moves. Like for example, I capture one of your pieces. I capture one of your pieces, but you can, if that is what I do, give me a check. And as I told you in games, Many times that is what happens. Both sides are trying to execute a tactical sequence with forcing moves, but both sides have to deal not only with the moves that they want to play, but with the moves that their side can execute, okay? So I will give you a list of candidate moves and of order of, of the order that I feel which will follow most of the time to look for those moves, okay? Uh, let me see what people wrote here. No, exactly. Look at this. First, not only, not only forcing moves are candidate moves, okay? They are not the only ones, but usually you want to look for those first. So you want to look first for the forcing moves. Sometimes they will even give you ideas that will make you realize, oh, this is not a forcing move, but this is the move that they have to look upon. Sometimes also there are moves, I have to tell you, and you will know that. Like maybe they are not forcing, but you see at the move and you know, oh, this is a move that I have to look upon. And the stronger you get, 